I'm Arye Schwartz, along with Eli Horowitz, and welcome to the WNBA Insider Show. Each week, we cover different topics important to the W, using X's and O's along with key stats we bring honest and critical analysis. This week, we are honored to have and to welcome Azrae Stevens of the Dallas Wings. From the moment Azrae declared for the 2018 draft, Eli and myself have been all aboard the Stevens hype train. Um, Azrae, yesterday was your first WNBA game, and today is your second. Just a, a quick stat line from yesterday. In 29 minutes, he shot 72%, three, from four, three of four from three-point range, along with nine rebounds. I mean, the team was plus 18 with you on the court. So, I mean, real quickly, what was it like to step on the pro court for your first game? Um, it was really exciting. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for a really long time, um, and I've always wanted to be um, in the WNBA since I started playing basketball. So it was just um, a lot of excitement. Um and just a great time. Fun to finally get out on the court with the team. And um, I'm really happy to be here and with this group of girls, women. Nice. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no longer in college. Yeah. Uh, we realize, you know, it's, it's just one game. But how were you able to jump right in to such a dominant pro game coming from college? Yeah. Um, I mean, my teammates did a really good job of just finding me um, in, in the right spots. And, um, you know, it was just – you know, the team from the moment I've gotten here has had a lot of confidence in me. So that's helped me to, um, you know, have that confidence in myself as, as well as Coach Fred and the other coaches. And so, um, you know, it's just going out, playing, not overthinking too much and just having fun. Um, I'm, I'm going to jump in here. This is uh, this is Eli. And, and, you know, obviously we're not able to watch the preseason, but I did see the highlights. And, you know, one of the reasons we've said at WNBA Insider, we thought you were – the number one or number two prospect in this draft is exactly what I saw in the highlights. Um, you know, receiving pin downs and hitting threes, um, the ability to guard multiple positions. Um, and so am I crazy to think, I mean, you're able to play, you know, at least four positions. Um, I guess, how, how do you see yourself as far as what position you are? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I can play like a multiple. I think I can play multiple positions. Um, with this particular team, you know, I kind of, you know, the coaches are doing a good job of just using me wherever I'm needed, and so, you know, that's all that I want. Um, in whatever way I can help the team out, in whatever position that's going to be on, whatever matchups and whatever night, um, you know, that's what I'm coming in prepared to do. And so, um, you know, I can play multiple positions but it's kind of just based on matchups and um each night and I think that's the awesome thing about our team as well as we have a bunch of different players who can play um a lot of different positions and so it's really cool the group that we have because we have a lot of players that can mix it up um on any given night and we're going to need to have that um adaptability with each game that we play yeah I mean uh the personnel you guys have um you have a lot of length and athleticism has has coach Williams kind of is, does he seem very open to the idea of, like you said, kind of a lot of switching and, and just kind of positionless basketball? Yeah, I mean, I think so far we've been able to do that. And we have, like I said, a lot of different players who can play, you know, the three through five, um, even the two through five, honestly. And so um, I think that he's done a really great job as well as the other coaches of just preparing us for um, being able to play multiple positions and, you know, just, uh, again, with matchups, however it kind of shakes out, being able to, you know, um, if, we are, if we're playing against a bigger team, being able to step out against other bigs or if we're playing against a smaller team, you know, being able to pound it inside. And so it's exciting to have those options. And, and, and looking ahead to, like, the regular season, I mean, Dallas last year, you know, made the playoffs one, the youngest team in the WNBA. What are – what have you guys talked about as a group as far as um, – obviously every team wants to win the title, but have you guys kind of set goal as a team as far as this season? Um, yeah, I mean, I think our, our eyes are set on winning, and we know we have all the pieces there to do that. Um, it's just getting everybody on the same page every night and every moment of practice and different things like that. And so um, we're just big on – you know, focusing in on our keys for each game, each practice, and honestly, just every day trying to get better as a group. You know, looking at your college game and now you, you've adapted into the pros, in your opinion, what aspect of your game do you need to work on the most now that you're in the professionals? 
uh, there's so many things I need to work on. <laughs> um, but, um, well, I know for sure strength is one thing that, um, I've always needed to work on. And so that definitely in this type of, um, environment is going to be important. Um, but I think also just, you know, being smart and, um, knowing when to mix up different things. And so kind of putting together an all around complete game, um, and even there was moments last night after looking at the film where, um, you know, there were times where I had a smaller guard on me that I could have taken advantage of that and went down and um, posted up or uh, took advantage of that mismatch a little bit better. And so I think now it's just going to be putting together an all-around complete game um, and being able to end game make those quick decisions, um, you know, depending on what mismatch I have and just and just playing, not thinking too much, but just going out and playing and being able to make certain reads. Um you know, yeah. ho- hopping back to your college days a little bit, obviously you decided to forego your final year at UConn. There's been a lot of talk about it, and, it, and it's often overlooked that you did sit out a full season from uh, you know 2016, 2017. So I, we don't want to get mm-hmm. from the other people why you sat out. We want to hear from you, or uh, not sat out, why you declared early. We want to hear from you in your words. Why did you make this jump to the pros? Um, I made this jump because I had the choice and the decision to make that, and I have that right. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I went to UConn for two years, and it was an amazing two years, just being able to adjust and adapt to that program, um, learn all that I could. And, um, you know, I had the decision going into this year to either stay or come out um, for after my senior year. And so, um, you know, I've always wanted to play in the league, and um, – you know, I went to UConn and was able to experience and enjoy that for two years and then just decided to, you know, begin my pro career. So um, it's more of just when you have opportunities, um, sometimes it's, it's better to just go ahead and take them rather than sit back and wait. For sure. And, and uh, you know, like I said, we in our mock draft, you know, we, we thought, you know, you'd potentially even go in the top two. I'm curious, once you declared – what was your mindset? Did, did you care as to where you actually went in the draft, or was that not, not important at the end of the day? Um, it wasn't super important. I knew um, – I had thought about – I mean, I just didn't know, like, where I would end up. Um, and, you know, I didn't talk to anybody during the year about coming out or anything like that. And so I really had honestly no idea, but – Um, It didn't really matter any place that I was going to go. I was just trying to get myself prepared as much as I could after the Final Four, um, just to be ready to be able to come in and make an immediate impact. And, and, you know, I have to ask on the night of the draft itself, how how exactly, for fans who, you know, aren't there and don't get to see the draft, how does that work exactly? Do you get, did you get a call from Dallas or are you finding out, like, when Lisa Borders reads your name? You know, I think the fans are just like, kind of learn more about that process um well I found out when she called when Lisa Bordas called my name <laughs> so I had no idea that I was gonna end up in Dallas but um it was just a lot of a joy and excitement when I heard my name um and um then I was able to talk to coach Fred after that um and it was just great it was a great evening and my family was there so that was really special to have them there on you know a pretty special moment in my life so we, this is something, and, and you've spoken about this, so uh, not to you know overplay this one question, but it's something we've asked. We asked Jewel Lloyd this, we asked Renee Montgomery this, and we asked every player. Um, how important it is, is it to you to be, you know, to have a specified position role? Like, is it important for you to be titled a, a guard or a forward or like, or in your mind, I guess, what are you? Um... I mean, in my mind, I'm a player, so there's, I I can play different positions. Um, so, you know, I am a post player, um, but I have abilities to do things that guards do, um, or you know, bigger wings do, bigger wing guards do. And so, um, I mean, it's important, but at the end of the day, you're a player, and there's a lot of room you have to make um, whatever position you want to happen happen. So, you can be labeled a post, but if you're doing things that guards can do, then clearly you're not just a regular post or just like any other post. And so, um, 
I mean, it's kind of important, but at the end of the day, um, whatever work you put in and um, whatever you display night in and night out, you know, people can take that and leave that for what it is. But you know the type of player that you are. You know what you do when nobody else is watching. And so, um, I mean, it's kind of important, but it doesn't really matter. It just whatever you do when you're in the games is what matters. Thank you so much. And uh, we appreciate your insight on that. Um, guys, I'm Arie Schwartz, along with Eli Horowitz, and this has been the WNBA Insider Show. Again, each week we cover different topics important to the W using X's and O's along with key stats to bring honest and critical analysis. We want to thank Azrae Stevens for joining us on the show and make sure to check out the Dallas Wings this season as they work.